There is a warrior within you. Haven't you ever felt like standing up for yourself, fighting back? Have you ever been humiliated? Thinking later that you wish you would have slugged the guy in the face or at least stood up to him and told him to stop, but you shrank away and you lived to another day of humiliation. There's something about a man that's in man. They used to call it honor. Now you can't hardly stand up for your honor because everything seems to be against the law, at least in this Western world. There were times when they had duels. Now, I'm not saying we should go back to dueling, but is there anything wrong with two men deciding it's their lives, correct? As long as they're not putting anyone else in danger, if they decide to take it outside. But legally, you can't do that without getting into some trouble or being charged with assault. But it's amazing how many times this has been done throughout history. And afterwards, the two men get up, shake hands, and they're friends for life after that. This is something that, unless you, unless you fought and experienced, you won't understand. Back in my teenage years, I used to fight quite a bit before I started boxing. I remember one night at the dance back in the 70s, it was still pretty tense between the blacks and the whites. And I grew up in a prejudiced household and I was pretty prejudiced back then. And uh, so there was a lot of tension there. But anyway, the, after the dance, I got in a fight with three different black guys at the same time. And it was quite the fight. They didn't knock me down, but they got the best of me. But I got some slugs in too. I walked away, mouthing off. Okay, and today I see those guys, at least one of them, I don't, the other two guys I didn't know, were like friends. And there was another black guy I got into a fight after with twice. The first time I got the best of him, second time he got the best of me. We sat at a basketball game here a few years back. His son was playing and my son was playing. We were joking and laughing about that. And I have the utmost respect for that guy. So, unless you've ever been in a fight and experienced this, I know it's really hard to understand, but there's a bond that's created. I know some people went back to the place where they fought in a war where people were killed and they had a bond with the enemy and they met and they spoke and they spent time together. These things are hard for people to understand unless you've ever experienced them. We as men are, are warriors. And I believe unless you have the opportunity to express that warrior within you, you're not going to fully express yourself in this world. And it can be through playing football. It doesn't have to be through boxing or, or fighting or dueling or anything like that. It can be, it's just the, the idea of, of competing and putting yourself on the line against another human being or a group of human beings. And, it, and I, I tell you to, if you ever get the chance, overcome the fear of doing that and experience it. Not, I'm not wanting you to get hurt or anything like that, but I mean, you might get hurt a little bit. I've been hurt quite a few times, but that's not bad either. We live in such a comfortable, soft society today that people don't want to experience pain. But pain is a part of life. It's only through pain that you can appreciate when you really feel good. I never really appreciated my health till for a certain amount of time I lost it many years ago. My mother once told me, well, you got your health. I thought, ah, yeah, oh boy. I was going through a divorce, losing my kids. It was like, that doesn't mean anything, but she was right. If you have your health, you have great wealth because you have opportunity and you can come back from anything that's ever knocked you down. You can get back up and try again. As long as you can get up and try again, you are never defeated. Whether that's in a street fight, a boxing match, whatever. 
even if you lose the match, you didn't lose. You were a winner when you got up in that ring because you faced the fear. And that's where the fulfillment comes from. It's not just in fighting. It's not just in competing in sports. It can be going for a job interview. Even if you don't get the interview, you have a feeling of fulfillment and accomplishment as a man because you face the fear. If you ask that girl out and she doesn't go, you face the fear of rejection. And that's what it's all about as a man. The war as a warrior doesn't necessarily have to be contact sports. Anytime you face fear, you're overcoming, overcoming yourself. It's just that when you get in the ring with someone or when you're in war, it's the ultimate fear because you face possible death. When you have someone shooting at you, of course, even in the ring, many people have died in the ring. You face possible death. I mean, of course, you're not worried about every time you get in there, but these are the chances you take. As a child, when you climb a tree way up high, you face the possibility of death. That's why you do it. People bungee jump, people parachute. Sometimes or many times when you're close to death is when you're most alive. Many guys said in Vietnam that when they were in country, when they could be shot any moment, they felt more alive than when they were back home safe. We stifle, we destroy our creativity, our, our expansiveness, our expansiveness, our desire to expand by being safe and comfortable and seeking pleasure. Now these things are all good in moderation, but there comes a time as a man, if you wanna feel alive, you have to take a little risk. You have to take a risk. And I'm all for safety, don't get me wrong. I'm all for safety. But unless you risk in life, you will never fully live your life and you will never enjoy it as you can. I've taken many risks in my life. I've failed many times. I've lost everything, homes, lands, more than once because of risks I've taken. Do I regret that? No, I don't. Do I think, oh, I would have been further along financially now? I would have been, but I got golden memories and treasures that you can't buy with money. I wouldn't trade it for anything. I'm fine right now. And it's because of all those risks, all those failures, and all those sins, those mistakes I've made, that I am where I am today. And today my life is full and rich and rewarding. Now, does that mean I don't have down days? Of course, I have struggles. If I didn't, I would get too comfortable, okay? But they're different from what they used to be because I can see in the struggle that this moves me up to a higher level. It creates expansion within me. It changes me on the inside. And when I change on the inside, everything in the outer world changes to match that. When I expand here and when you expand on the inside, your outer world expands. If you're trying to make something happen out there before it happens in here, you got the cart before the horse. Or as my dad used to say, bass backwards. The expansion must take place, first, take place first in here before it can ever manifest in your outer world and be, how do I say, be permanent. Anything you achieve in the outer world without achieving it first in here will be temporal. Think about that. Have a great day. Hit that like button, subscribe. Thanks for joining me. As always, I will see you soon.